What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chris, your favorite bearded and wavy king, Mr. 540, 540 TV, 540 gang, gang. You already know what it is. Look, I'm here to actually uh, kind of set the record straight on waves. Um, there's been a lot of waves that's been a wave type that's been called another wave type. And pretty much that just come by people really not knowing and people hearing, hey, look, um, this is this certain type of waves. I mean, I've seen people with 540 calling their waves 360. And if you even Google, you can type in 360 waves and you'll see 540 waves, 720 waves, you know. But this is just a video just to set the record straight. Um, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much be explaining the difference between the waves and also uh, showing y'all picture proof of those waves you know what i mean so it's just really to set the record straight because um like i said people call 360 360 is the household name i guess four waves all together even though 360 waves are a thing of its own um it's not the entire wave thing you know waves is the entire wave thing but 360 waves 540 waves 720 waves and the waves in between 360 swirl on the beehive uh you know 540 540 swirl it's, it's, you know it, there's a lit different types of waves here and there um but this video like i said is just really to set the record straight all right so after the intro i will be back let's set it straight all right I'm in London. I mean, it's just more questions you have to ask me. Still ten toes down the road, Melissa. He ran out on a that's what y'all talk, y'all talk. Cold hearted, I'm on the block, I'm 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 block, i am block i am when I'm in traffic, gotta slide with the beam on me. Cause I keep out here and busting out the jeans on me. Alright, what's good everybody? So I am back. Hope y'all enjoyed the intro video and actually checked out my waves. Hopefully that you know when you got to this video, you've already seen my previous previous wave videos. Um got a couple wave videos, me just showing how um to apply oil, you know, different techniques here and there. I'm not a wave guru. But you know, the information that I find out, I try to share it, you know, so y'all can better y'all ways. Um, but yeah, so in the intro, um, you see my ways are actually 540 ways, which um is a mixture between um not so far as the 720s, but similar going that direction, but with 360 waves. Um my left side is in a 360 wave format, which is going straight around, but my right side right it's going in a slant going this way to the back and my back is all the way slanted my top you can get the um 540 ways with the straight top or with the slanted i like the slanted look because you know i mean everybody pretty much got the this is going straight across i like mine to go in a slant motion you know so um but like i said before um this video is pretty much just to kind of set the record straight on the type of waves right so we're gonna start with a, a pick here, which is a 360 Beehive Wave. Um, so as you see on his waves, uh, he pretty he got some nice waves. His connections are great. Um, if you notice that everything is going in pretty much in a circular format, um, that's what how you know the difference between 360s, right? So 360s is the most common waves that everyone has because majority of the time when you grab a brush, you're just brushing like not even that fact that you're trying to get waves but you're just brushing your hair um there's people who have waves that don't even try honestly um they just brush their hair they like their hair to be brushed um and so in that sense while they're brushing their hair they're still creating waves can you get waves without a do-rag yes definitely can will your waves be on point no definitely won't uh, you gotta have a do-rag um 
I got my do-rag on here. I done about beat this do-rag to death, but um, this is one of my favorite do-rags, the Red by Kiss. Their do-rags are just thick, man. I love thick do-rags. I went and bought a, um, uh, what's that name? Um, Tashi, um, some brand that's been out for a while. Their do-rags are just too thin. Um, the J, J K King J, those do-rags are just way too thin for me. But yeah, so Kiss by Red. Look, I need y'all to start back coming out with do-rags or whatever. Um, but yeah, look at his do-rags. I mean, you know, he got the Beehive, um, which is the 360. Those are, uh, like I said, very nice ways. And as you see near the back end of it is where you see uh, it just pretty much loops all the way back around. Let's look at some more. Now these ways are sick. These are the 360 swirl. And you can see the little dot and then the wave swirls all the way around. These might be the best waves ever. I don't know who this guy is. And if you do know who he is, make sure you put his name in the comment section. But I mean, he's literally flawless. That's flawless is when your waves doesn't have any forks at all, which that's our goal as waivers to get our waves flawless. A lot of ways get waivers get their ways flawless and then probably transition to another one or get their ways to the best or the closest to the flawless. And you know, I'm not necessarily doing that. Uh, once my ways are flawless, I'm keeping them boys flawless, you know. Um, but um, yep, these are the, um, the swirl 360 swirl here. You see, it's still in the same swirl format, it's just that he swirled that middle part in the middle. All right, let's go to the next one. So these are 360 swirls also. And you can pretty much tell by the hair texture um, that depending on the shape of your head and the texture of your hair is what your waves will look, will look like pretty much. All right. And of course you can see by the back of the head why these are not 540s. Because they're going in that U shape in the back going around to that circle, you know, and pretty much where the crown is is where the hair is actually um, swirling. All right, let's go to another one. This looks like a 360 Jeezy video too. Some 360. All right, so there's a better shot, a crown shot of the 360 waves. And pretty much, with 360 ways, you want to try to achieve the fact that all your ways are connected. Like the way that goes in the front should connect with the ones on the side and the one in the back should all the way around connect. You know, one wave, not one wave going into another wave. So if you have 20 ways on the top, then you want 20 ways on the side, 20 ways on the back, 20 ways on the, the left side, you know. But um, those are right there, the 360. And you can tell by his strand of hair, where his crown is, his brush pattern. Near the middle, he going straight top. When you get to the, I guess the north, the northeast side, and then the east, he going straight out. The east, the southeast side, the south, he going straight down, you know. So you kind of see, the format. I will also show a picture, I believe. If not, I'll probably do another video on it, on the brush diagram. So, he got nice ways also. Let's go to the man himself, Poppy Blasted. Of course, everybody know he's a 360 waiver. Um, this is a, this might be an older picture because I don't think he has that fork there anymore, but um, you can kind of see the 360 ways you know so we, we pretty much get an idea of 360 ways let's go to some 540s all right here's a 540 waiver you know this is what mine pretty much look like your swirl i mean your crown area with that swirl going into it and you can see near the back of the head at the bottom of the picture 
um, the curve. 360 was going straight like this. His is going straight like this with a slant. All right, and when I say crown area, this middle part where it looks like a hole in the head, that's not hair loss. Um, that's not um, where he messed his hair up or something like that. That's just the crown area. Everybody has a crown area. Even girls with hair, you still have a crown area. Um, people with afros, you still have a crown area. And excuse my allergies kind of going crazy. So there was some more 360. I mean, not three, I'm sorry, 540s. Y'all kind of see that slant and where the crown area is with a little squirrel in the middle. Some, some more 540s. Those are nice. I like the, the darkness of the waves. And there again, the crown area. And you see the waves kind of um, going around into the crown area. With 360 waves, the waves doesn't go into the crown area. The crown area is still should have those rings going in it. Um, but the ends of the waves go straight to the crown area for 360 waves. All right, 360 Jeezy. Everybody know exactly what his waves look like. So you see that slant also near the uh, left side of his head in the back. Everything's going to um, the crown. But also, um, I think this is an older picture because I know his picture, he usually wolfs a lot. So I see that this, his hair is kind of light here, but yep. He's probably the king of three, uh, the king of 540 ways. Look at some 720s. So with the 720 ways, um, depending on, well now, depending on the type of ways that you have, it depends on a lot of things. Your hair texture, um, and mainly really the shape of your head because we can brush, me and someone else can brush the same direction. You know, the same direction. But if he has a hump on the back of his head, I've got what, what y'all call that, peanut? Or, um, his head is flat in the back, or, you know, the waves are gonna look totally different. Um, but you see here with the 540 waves, you kind of see, it look like what the classic man look. Um, there's a lot of wavers who actually just brush their hair straight across. He brushes his with a little slant, um, but some waves brush it straight across and have the waves going straight down. Uh, let's look at some more. 720 waivers, all right. Those are some great waves right there though. The definition is great. I'm not here to talk about um, all that, but you see where his hair is going straight down until his edge up. Let me see if I can get some a photo of, let's see here. That's another 720 waiver. All right, here's J. Lou. J. Lou was rocking the 720 for a while. Uh, if you don't know who J. Lou is, go to his YouTube channel. Uh, he's on YouTube. I haven't really seen a, uh, any videos lately of him doing anything, but he does a lot of brush reviews, do rat reviews, and waves. But that's J. Lou. Here's another one. And see, look on the side. Like that's how 720 waivers look with that. Um, I don't necessarily like 720 waves and 720 waves are some of the hardest waves to get forks out of. Like with 720 waves, your hair is gonna fork up like crazy. That sounded so bad and it sounded like I was cussing. But I wasn't cussing. I'm just saying your hair is gonna fork up if you get 720 ways. Like, <laughs> but nah, for real, for real. Like, 
I don't, I don't cuss, so, you know, that was a jokey joke. But, uh, you, you see his ways, like the sides here, where they go straight down, like it's really no slant to the sides, even the back area. All right, let's go to our last photo here. Yeah, this is a good example of some 720s here. So look at his crown area, look at the circle. It's like just going straight in a circle. And all you can tell his hair is like just brushed around. It's just brushing around this way, you know? Like it's easy. And with 720 ways, um, I say this y'all, don't ever blind brush. Blind brushes is pretty much when you're not doing anything in your home, chilling or somewhere chilling, you just get a brush and Unless you know your angles. If you know your angles, cool. But if you don't know your angles like that, um, blind brushing could be your worst enemy. Blind brushing causes forks. Um, you know, it just takes your hair in the wrong direction. It's always great to have a mirror. Um, you have a mirror in one hand and a big mirror behind you and just hold it up and you can see the back of your head and brush it in the right direction, you know? But I like these. I like these 720s here, though. Um, it kind of really, with this picture, you can really can tell uh, his brush pattern, the way he was brushing. So, yep. So that's the end of the video, y'all. Um, hopefully, y'all get an understanding of the waves and the different types of waves now. Um, but I know it's still gonna go on forever and ever. You know, yo, somebody with some 540 is gonna be like, yeah, man, I got, I got. Uh, 360 ways, you know, or somebody say, let's give it up for a 360 ways. Nah, those are 540 ways. You know what I mean? But hey, it's whatever. Hey, look, thank y'all for watching the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. You know what I'm saying? Do the whole nine. Make sure you hit the post notification bell so you get all notifications every time I upload. Look, I am out. Peace.